gold track. Once upon a time, in a small town nestled among rolling hills, there lived a kind-hearted man named Alex. He was known for his willingness to help others, always going out of his way to lend a hand when someone was in trouble. Alex's compassionate nature, however, would soon lead him into a dangerous trap he could never have imagined. One rainy evening, as Alex was walking home, he noticed three distressed women standing near an abandoned building. Concerned, he approached them, asking if everything was alright. The women looked worried and informed him that they had found a person badly injured inside the building. Without hesitation, Alex agreed to assist them and hurriedly followed them inside. As they entered, the women quickly closed the door behind them, leaving the outside world behind. The interior was dimly lit, and Alex couldn't shake off a feeling of unease. Before he could inquire further about the injured person, he felt a sharp prick on his arm, and everything went black. When Alex regained consciousness, he found himself in a brightly lit room, disoriented and surrounded by identical women. He soon realized that each of them resembled the trio who had lured him into the building. Panic rose within him as he demanded answers. The women revealed their sinister plot. They were part of a clandestine organization seeking to achieve the impossible, cloning humans and controlling their actions through the week. Their malicious plan involved using innocent individuals like Alex to carry out tasks each day, while their original bodies remained submerged in water tanks, connected to mysterious probes. The women explained that Alex had been cloned for each day of the week, and each clone was tasked with specific duties, none of which he had any memory of performing. They intended to use his clones for their own purposes, exploiting his willingness to help others for their gains. Each day, Alex was sent out to complete various missions across different states, unknowingly fulfilling the women's objectives. He was used to commit thefts, vandalize public property, and spread false information. Meanwhile, his real body remained in a state of suspended animation, manipulated by the probes. As the week progressed, news of Alex's seemingly impossible feat spread like wildfire, captivating the media and authorities alike. He was being reported in different places, committing contradictory actions at the same time. People were bewildered and questioned how one person could be in multiple states simultaneously. The media dubbed him the Sevenfold Enigma, and his face became plastered all over the news. Law enforcement agencies were baffled, trying to catch a man who appeared to be in seven places at once. Alex's life was now a relentless cycle of crime, confusion, and chaos. However, fate had something unexpected in store. One night, while the women were monitoring their clone subjects, a security breach occurred, and the clones were set free. As the clones confronted their captors, they realized they shared a deep bond. They were all Alex, parts of the same whole. With newfound unity, the clones worked together, disabling the machines controlling their real bodies. They liberated themselves and called the authorities, exposing the women's sinister plot and dismantling the nefarious organization. The world was astonished when the truth came to light. News outlets covered the whole ordeal, unraveling the mystery of the sevenfold enigma. People marveled at the remarkable story of a man who had unwittingly defied the laws of space and time, albeit through a sinister scheme. The lesson of this harrowing tale spread like wildfire. If someone is in danger, think twice before leaping into the unknown. For the world had learned that one person truly cannot be in seven places at once. And in the end, it was compassion, unity, and resilience that shattered the deception and set Alex free.